Summer is a season to be enjoyed outdoors and there's no reason to cook in the kitchen when the weather is so invitingly warm. A delicious meal can be cooked with little more than a fire, a cast iron pot and a generous helping of imagination, as Chef Rev Batoy reveals. Sea air whets the appetite and after a day on the beach, Karishma was looking forward to soul food with an Indian Ocean twist. Summer is here and the sunshine may have washed all the winter blues away, but I sometimes still crave a hearty, comforting meal. Well, I'm so glad you've come because today we're doing a delicious East Coast seafood poiki. That's so interesting that we're making a seafood poiki. That's so different. Why have you chosen seafood? Living in Durban, it's kind of unavoidable with the sand, the sea, the surf, to miss out on the opportunity to make a delicious seafood poiki. Well, I can't wait to get started. To begin, we've got pink prawn, macho mussel, and our humble hake. We are going to put in a glug of oil. And what I always do is I always try and do half oil, half butter. Then we're going to add our chopped onions. So what we're trying to achieve is we're trying to sweat the onions to a light translucent color. And next up, we're going to add our crushed garlic. So what I'm adding in now is mixed herbs and essentially what this is is a little bit of rosemary, a little bit of parsley, a little bit of thyme, and now for some cream. What we're looking for here is for the cream to reduce a bit before we add the flour wine. And now it's time to add the star of the show, our seafood. So I like to add the large prawns because this creates a great flavor base for the East Coast seafood poiki. It's really easy to overcook prawns, so what I like doing is I always wait for it to turn to a nice pink color. And now to add our mussels. I've used the half mussels. You can use the full mussels or you can use the half mussels. And what we're actually looking for here is that it needs to open completely before adding in your next ingredient. And if you're using the half mussels, how do you know that they're cooked? It changes color ever so slightly. And now for some fish. Could we use any fish for the poiki? Well, what I try and do is I try and add a nice white firm fish so that it doesn't break apart in your poiki. So we're going to add some salt and give that a nice, generous helping of pepper. It binds everything together. And our parsley. That really does add a beautiful pop of color. Color, yes it does. And give that a nice stir. To accompany our East Coast seafood poiki, we're now gonna make a delicious salad jar. And the great thing about a salad jar is that we're able to take it wherever we need to go. So it's very portable, it's very mobile. And I always like to start off with something green, something leafy, such as lettuce. And here I use a frilly lettuce, followed by some red cabbage mixed with some grated carrots. If you can please pass me the chickpeas. And chickpeas is a great way to get your protein. And then we have some red onion, and red onions are usually sweeter than your white onion, so I like to add that, especially during the hot weather. And then we've got some tomato, followed by some radish, and then I always like to top it off with feta. And just do a few little crumbles into it. And then, Karishma, to finish it off, we are going to have a wedge of lemon. You can pop that into your jar, give it a good little shake, and take it wherever you go. And Karishma, summer won't be complete without a delicious, refreshing mocktail. So to begin, we're going to add some ice char jar. Add fruit pulp to our ice, followed by our soda water. But please help me by taking this to the table. Sure. And Karishma, poiki won't be complete without some crispy bread. Try some. Love you. 